Hey YouTube, I had an idea to share with you some uh, interesting things that I've learned in the past. One of them being a memorization course that's uh, it's fairly easy to to understand and once you got it, you got it for life really. It takes a little bit of practice and everything but it's basically the, the basic concept of it is to turn numbers into letters, make words out of it and then associate that with whatever you're trying to re remember as far as like your list. So the way I us usually teach this is for uh, like a grocery list or something like that. But just to go through the first five numbers just to get you on the right track. I can actually, the benefit to this is, I mean I can actually uh, remember like a hundred things at, uh, by using association. And Like if you were to hand me a magazine, I could go through like a hundred pages I give it back to you after associating it and everything. You could flip to a random page, what's on page 72 or whatever, and I could tell you what's on that page. So uh, I'd like to teach you how to do that. If, uh, if you want to follow along with me and, and grab a pen and paper, I'll wait. Okay, that's enough waiting. The first number, of course, we know that there's only, let's see, there's nine and then zero. 1 through 9 and 0. Those are the on only numbers that exist. All other numbers are just uh, like a 12 is a 1 and a 2. Um, 25 is a 2 and a 5. So we know that. So what I'm going to do is label on my pet pet paper here, and I think you should do the same if you want to get the full effect of this. Just label 1 through 10. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to turn these numbers into letters. And the letters that we turn these numbers into will stay the same forever. Okay, for the number one, next to the number one, I just want you to write a vertical line, just like another number one. Alright, and then you put a horizontal mark across the top and it becomes the letter T. That's how you remember that T is the number one. One horizontal. So number one has become the letter T. Number two, I want you to write two vertical lines. And then we're going to put a diagonal line in between there. Number two now becomes the letter N. It will remain the letter N forever. A number three on its side is an M. Number three on its side, M. M is your letter for number three. The fourth letter in the word four is R. Number four, your letter is R. Number five, hold up your five fingers here, well your four fingers and your thumb okay that's five put your fingers together that makes a what? an L number five is L okay on a separate sheet of paper here I'm going to show you uh, six through nine to show you how to remember this just draw a six and then draw like a six a mirror image of a six just like that. And just like we did with the letter T where it was one vertical, put a little horizontal on over the top of there and it becomes the letter J. Number six, your letter is J. Now on number seven, just draw another number seven there. Okay? And then we're going to put like a little less sign, you know, greater than, less than. We'll put the less than symbol on there making it a K. That's how you remember that 7 is the letter K. Now for number 8, draw a lowercase cursive F. Kind of looks like an 8. So that's how you remember that 8 is the letter F. Number 9, mirror image, is P. Now 
remember what I said earlier about two numbers together making up another number. 10, we've already got the number 1, which is a T. The 0 right now, it's like the Z. It's a sound. And a couple of other of these, a couple of other of these numbers are going to turn into sounds, not just letters. Bear with me here. But zero is Z, is that Z sound. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a Z. Because if we throw in a couple of vowels in there to make our word for that number, toes, get the sound there. It's like an S sound or a Z sound for the number zero. So now we have to throw it, like I said, this is how we're going to make words out of this. You throw in any letter that you want, doesn't necessarily have to be a vowel, as long as we haven't used that letter in the one through nine and zero, or that sound. Okay, so number one becomes the word T. Number two becomes the word Noah. Number three is May. Number four, Ray. Five becomes Law. Six, Jaw. This will all make a, a lot more sense when I get done showing you how all this applies. Seven is Key. Eight, F-E-E, -E, Fee. Nine, P. So there's your numbers converted into letters, and then letters with more added to make words. This is your hook word.